no, don't take any. No, I'm, I. Okay. It's because the veal, did the umbilical goes into the back. Yeah, it, yeah. it's because I'm. You're turning me. I'm, I'm t coming as it goes this way. That I way. Need, I know, but you you take the slack that I need. Right, but I'm trying just to get it to a certain height because I don't want to. As we're I going, we're just we're still what's at 30, 45 feet above the vehicle. I just don't. I, I don't want to fight you and. The yeah, yeah, yeah. How big would you estimate that is from stock to from uh, base, base to top? Foot. Can we turn the lasers back on? They're on. Oh, they are on, yeah. Oh, I couldn't see them for a second. Me neither. I like, like 30, Half a meter? 34 centimeters. 34? <laughs> Not 30, oh. 40. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, exactly. so precise. 34.5 <laughs> <laughs> centimeters. I think it so might be bigger than that. Guess, if, right? you're, yeah. if you're looking at it in the most All right, linear. I think I'm coming. I would say I it's like almost half a meter. Anymore, right? Yeah, I'm going to come up just, I want to get to 15, Delta. You are at 15. You're not, you're not working, bud. That rounds up. Don't touch the Delta. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. We got 45 feet, it's relatively flat. Like, yeah, relatively. Let's, let's use our slack while we have it. You're relatively flat. Can we zoom out, please, Panos? Yeah, okay, coming on. You're gonna gra try for grabbing the base, right? Yeah. If you get a few nodules, that's fine. Um, Will those get mixed well, in? With you the want me to nodules? grab the whole thing? They would get I was gonna, in, I was gonna try to clip it. We could put it in with a sponge. I just don't know if putting two bio together would be confusing for the associates. Right. Okay. Is, yeah. Is if, you wanna, if you want to, if you want to snip. Yeah. It's possible to get the whole thing. Including the, the, the base. base, though? Yeah, and then yeah. if we see that there's nodules on it, we'll... Well, how yeah, you if, you, if you get it, because uh, if it's something... Else. I don't think this has been... is very common, and I, I, I have the impression this wouldn't, hasn't been described yet. So, should I dig into the ground? Yeah, like grab... like that's, like, that's a really good view. Just grab the whole base, in where the fingers uh, interlock, um, and then hopefully it'll... And uh, also for corals, if you snip it, it's okay because they are colonial and they can regenerate and live. But for some, this mm -hmm. is a tunicate, it's a chordate. So probably if you get a snip, you're going, they wouldn't be able to just regenerate for the, for the, anyways. For the yeah. snips. If it, uh, if it snips at the top, it's going to float away. Am I, not, am I back? Am I uh, not underneath? No, you got to rotate the jaws over. Just in case you do snip it, we're going to lose. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, would you like to get the whole specimen if it's possible? I think they're trying to Yeah, this that. Is, it was just a... It's a um, fail-safe. Yeah, fail-safe in case we accidentally okay. snip it. Oh, this is so cool. All right, should I just grab it here? Yep, try. Nope. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. It's okay. It's all right. There you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. I think 
it's just resting on top. Give me a second. I need to get rid of some of this nervousness here. Okay. You're doing everyone, great. Everyone's, everyone's holding their breath. It's making me nervous. Talk or something. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if you, um, do you want to keep it further? Can you zoom in a little quick? I need to see the base. So, like, those are, the, like, the roots or whatever? You kinda? might have it. Um, you know what? Maybe don't readjust. Let's just go real slow and see if we can put it in the front bio box. Yeah. Dwight. Or maybe yeah. do a, like, Should just come up a little bit. Instead? Yeah, probably. Right. See if, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See so if, it, if, it, if it floats, if it separates when you come back down, you know what I mean? But okay. they are quite a bit smaller. Can you zoom in just a little bit more? Yeah, I don't think. Right there. I don't know. Okay, you got it. Okay, wait, don't, don't move it. You got it. All right, let's uh, zoom out, please. Come all the way wide and open the box for you. No, not sports. Not I think we're that. gonna we're gonna go for Omega instead, please. Omega, did you hear that? Or which one is best because it's so unique? <laughs> yeah, really. It's all the way out. Oh, actually, the nodules are quite large. Maybe yeah. we could put it in lambda after all. Kind of retract Dwight? the camera. Yeah, that's fine. I Sorry, yeah. we're gonna change yeah, it again. Back to lambda. <laughs> lambda. And, uh, those they picked. Uh, just go nice and slow. One at a time with the claw. I see, I see. I didn't know how big they were. There you go, bud. You're doing great. We won't be confused by these small nodules in Lambda. If it starts to feel awkward, just freeze it and then readjust. Here, can you also get me on... Uh, yep, I'll follow you. I want to go as, like, make minimal distance, you know what I mean? Like, no unnecessary paths. Is, uh, yeah, I don't like the zoom on that thing, but it's inverted, so. Yeah, that's why I'm, <laughs> what is going on? It's like flying a plane. But left and right isn't inverted. <laughs> You're doing good. You're doing good. Just nice and slow. Nice and slow. This thing looks so delicate. It is. So I guess this might have the potential of floating away. Do we? Think? I guess not if it's attached to nodules. It will be anchored. Yeah, hopefully the weight of the nodules will help it sink down into the drawer. It's the camera going back. Ah! Oh. It's okay. It's on the porch. It's on the porch. It's on the porch. Yeah. All right. We'll just leave it there. Take a second, let it, let, it, let it settle, and then we'll retract the box. Well, I'm afraid that, uh... It's okay. It's all good. It's there. All I gotta do... All I gotta do, bud. Take your time. Try your best to grab it where you had it. I want to look at it now because we might have an issue. I can't tell if it's taller. Looks like it's going underneath, so it's fine. Okay. Um, you might have to take control of this because it's like requires a little bit more finesse because like it's also on the. What you want me to? Do? Maybe. It's up to you. I, I, whatever you like. Can you drop some of the nodule? Oh, I guess we can keep keep them if possible. Oh, well, I'm gonna have to open up. So. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. Just thinking. Okay. 
So should I come at it from back here? I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can. Uh, I can't do that, can I? Oh, I see, like this. Right. Nope, the other way. Because I'm, um, it's, yeah. Like that? Do you think I got it? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out, uh, like, trying to figure out what I need to do to come straight up because I keep bringing the shoulder up, which makes me closer, right? Yeah. So, um, I'm not quite above Lambda's it Lambda's actually fine now, but if it can only go in Omega, I know it's a tricky one, so whatever you guys can do, either one. Lambda preferred. Uh, bring it back in, because I'm, I'm rubbing against it. I need to come in a bit more. Nope, nope.
hold on. I don't know what needs to go. Can you, um, yeah, let me see the arm. We, we rack, rack the camera back. Uh, I think the camera's all the way back. Is it? Okay, so see, yeah. do I need to like bring that wrist around? Oh no, the wave, the, the swell, the swell. <laughs> the, the, the swell had me moving. Keep the boat straight. <laughs> Yeah, you're clear of it. I don't think I am. Am I? Okay. Yeah. If we get the nodules in, you could gently co like let go and coax it, you know. You want to try? You're caught up. Careful about the camera. There you go. Nice. There you go. Well done, Michael. All right. What were we, what were we thinking? Yeah. Uh, James, I don't know what your thruster situation is right now, but something may be um, pulling it back into, if you want to isolate. Uh, so you can't really do much. Yeah, it's like wanting to go in. Yeah. Do we want to get the, uh, if we want, I can give you this. And we can try to bring the magnum in to get over it so it doesn't float and then kind of keep it where it's at and then like you can kind of pack it in, you know what I'm saying? Do you think that that's worth trying or? Yes. Yeah, so the grip lock isn't engaged. So it is not. So you want to make sure that the, I was holding it because I wasn't trusting it, so. Uh, just yeah yeah just hold it just pull that trigger you, oh you know you might be able to like oh spaghetti it <laughs> yeah yeah that's what I was just about to <laughs> I was just about to do it but I was afraid this is so but I'm, but I'm not on the cutters sorry right. it's just really delicate yeah. Yeah, let me get to it. All right, so.
Say again? Oh. All right, I'm going to move the soldier. I'm going to bring it in. Go ahead. I don't know if you're over the box or not. I don't know either. You're not. But I'm elbowing. Nope. Nope, don't do that. Don't do that. Elbow up. All right. Keep going, keep going. If you can. Uh, I'll blow up. Sure. Okay. Keep I keep going. You're good. There you go. Run down. Hold on, let me think. Uh, uh, picture. There's a picture, y'all. I think it's a uh, wrist down, maybe? Wrist down, yep. Uh, I think that's as much as I can do. Okay, there's I don't, another. Um, I mean, I can come down a little bit on the elbow. Another, there's another uh, wrist, uh, wrist left and right. There you go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You go until you almost hit the box. Okay, stop. I'm gonna pop right up again. Hold on. There. That way, I'm not actually squishing it on the box. I think I might have it stuck on the box. That's okay. <laughs> okay, can you close the, partially close the box, please? It's okay, you're good. Okay, hold on. Oh. Stand by. Oh, I can't. Um, anymore. Can, uh, are you fully wrecked? Yeah. Well, you got like a clear view. There we go. Right okay. Here. Um, do you want me to get out of the way? Let me get the magnum out of the way. Can you close the box, please? It's going to be dangling. It's going to be hanging out the front, but... Okay, stop for a second. Um, this end is really light. There's really no way for me to get this in the box. I can try to stuff the fingers in there. Um, I don't think we're opening this box like, again. While there's no space and kind of try to slide them out. But there's no guarantee that this won't get pinched in the lid. Back row, just so no you know. Um, also, we might want to hesitate about ever opening this again. <laughs> just Steve says to just close the box. Well, well that's, that's just understandable. It, you don't think the weight of the nodule will pull your base down? I no, don't. the nodules fell off. Uh, I think there's there no might be a oh, no, no, you know what? Is there one there? It looks like, like there is. No, I think... Because when it fell, it went straight down. It was holding straight up, and it wasn't getting sucked back. So maybe it will. Hey. Okay, well, we can open it a little bit, and I can try. Yep, we know. Hang on. It looks like it'll be over the can two you move boxes. Your, can you move your arm? Uh, just a slew left. You don't have to change orientation, just, just go left. Thank you. It's in there, it's covering both boxes. I don't think it's going to get pinched too much. Ah, the joysticks. You, that, I mean, that's if you want to try to nick it over, yeah. go yeah, for it. it. I mean. But I, I, I think the base will fall down. Nope. As long as the the belt, the siphon side of it doesn't start floating up again. Right. Which it's kind of trapped under Is under it? there, I okay, think. Good. Yeah. 
close it a little more if you want. God, this is all backwards. Oh. It would be so much easier if we could box out, but I don't want to do that. Um, what works for me sometimes is if you uh, literally shift over your s your, your sitting yeah. as if uh, it's your right arm or whatever. Oh my God. Get down there. Nice, James. <laughs> stubborn yeah. little guy. Fantastic. So stubborn. <laughs> but I am more stubborn. <laughs> All right. Whoa. All right, zoom in. We have some world-class. Manipulators Woo! over here. Jesus. Nice job. <laughs> Keep it shut. Fantastic. Manipulator <laughs> operators. Never open that again. <laughs> nice oh work. Nice work. Oh. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, you should read right. the chat right now. It's going going very crazy. Good Sorry. job. You can do it. Heart racing over here. Woohoo! That was a <laughs> a nice thirty minute collection. <laughs> I mean, it just uh, that was worth it, though. Absolutely, no. That, that, that was not take away. Up, that was I could never. Oh, yeah, sorry, buddy. That was some amazing teamwork. Lynette, we've decided we're gonna just go up slope from here, so you can head toward. Um, Roger, sounds good. Yeah, when they're ready. Um, you don't have to go to the waypoint. Maybe go perpendicular to contour. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Oh, great. Good teamwork, Michael and James, it says. Well, thank you very much. You guys need a break? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll come, we'll go, come wipe your brows with towels. Go walk around the deck of the ship for uh -huh. 10 minutes. <laughs> well, sh just to give a little bit of context, like uh. the, what we just collect is a tunicate, so is the phylum uh, cordata that we as the humans also as part. Man, that was nerve wracking. So, um, I'm glad that ended happily. It's quite okay. a, an important <laughs> uh, sample because these animals can give you us more understanding of ourselves I'm as well. Make sure it's freaking close. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, going up slope. Hi, so you were saying it's it's a okay, delicate sample. Probably like sample. 315. 315, okay, roger now. that. Bridge nav. Can we have five zero meters three one five, please? Thank you. Yeah, and if you want to truck along at a decent speed until we hit the really steep stuff, that's fine. Yeah, we're still going point three. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Because I think it'll still be nodules for a while. Okay. It'd be interesting to come back and see the tracks from Hercules where we've collected and stuff in a year and see what changes to the infaunal communities happen with a disturbance like that. That'd be yeah. cool, huh? We've, we've been back to places year after year and you can see your tracks from the year before, usually. Oh, okay. Yeah. In the mud, anyway. So many positive messages in the chat. Thanks, Internet. <laughs> yeah. Awesome job, Intense. Great job. Congratulations. Well done to the team. And saying now you can do remote operations. That was stressful, but you got it done. Not for six days, you don't. That deserves ice cream, so. I actually was thinking, <laughs> what could be the reward for something like that? <laughs> There's only ice cream before <laughs> dinner. <laughs> Extra <laughs> ration of ice cream. <laughs> um, it seems like a couple of the nodules may have made their way into Omega. Is that right? Just for my records? Um, yes. Maybe. Omega was on the right? Yes. Yes. Most of the nodules that were actually attached to it fell on the in the right side. Okay. Thank yeah. you. So there's a question of how much longer would this dive be going? This is a 20-hour dive, so I think we're expected to end 
At 20. No. 20. At 4. No, that would be 24. 12 hours. What? We're ending at midnight, I believe. Because yeah. we started at 4 a.m.? That's what I had calculated. Correct. Yeah. What did I say? You said four. 20. You said 20. <laughs> then you said 4. I meant 4 a.m. Is there such thing hour. as 24 or is it no. zero, zero? Zero, zero. zero. Zero, zero. 2359. I like calling it 24. It means it's the same day you've been working. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> saying it's intuitive the way it works. But I put it at 24 on the board. Oh, that was you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should have made it 2359. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't feel like writing the extra The <laughs> <laughs> zeros are easier to write. <laughs> zoom in, panels. You still got an hour and a half. Huh. Yeah. Oh, I missed it. <sighs> Too far away. OK. All right, we're going to climb the mountain, see how far we get. Awesome. Is it pretty pretty steep, Dwight? It's pretty steep. Yep. 30 degrees, I believe. How steep is it? Oh, never mind. Maybe a little steeper in some spots. It's hard to say. The contour algorithm smooths, thing, smooths it over a bit, so it might not be. Give me a break. Constant slope. I'm just waiting for Atalanta to Stop. start coming with the ship. Oh, oh, yeah. Is that a shrimp? Oh, it looks Up like at the top. Two. There's two shrimps. <coughs> is that a shrimp? Let's Unless zoom in the one problem? at the bottom is not a shrimp. Doesn't look like a shrimp. Mm, not so shrimpy. Mm, the other the other shifts don't have to know that's not a shrimp. Slime. <laughs> I mean, it's already on the whiteboard, so it's we're going to mortal. So it's a shrimp. Lots of nodules. What is that? Mm -hmm. Come on, fishy. See a fish? Right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, good eyes. Good Blends in that. with the nodules. Perhaps a cuskiel. Swimming fast. It's just cruising with the current. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I think we have a little bit of a debate. It says, I just looked it up yesterday. Both 2400 and 0000, 0, 0, 0 are acceptable to use. Unacceptable to me, though. Oh. Wrong. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wrong. That's good to know. We, Either uh, way, come wide, I'm awake and I'm on shift. <laughs> I like she. Shift in the wet lab tonight. Yeah, looking forward to it. It should be a really cool one. Excited to see that tunicate, right? Get all up in that tunicate. <laughs> <laughs> so tunicates, it's saying um, squirt water. Is that correct? Excuse me? Uh, yeah, so they have a siphon um, where they can kind of impel and expel water to help catch things like either, you know, in this case, associates or I'm, I'm not sure if those are associates. Do you think those are associates or prey? I those think polychaetes. it's more associates. Okay. Prey associates. Like they can, um, they can, they are filter feeders as well, but they, they can active um, prey. So, and like they are quite diverse. I think there is more than 3,000 species wow. described, both um, from the deep seas, only about 
described only about 100 species. Yeah. Wow. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, maybe this will be a new species, huh? I know. I wasn't really finding much in the ID guide that looked too much like this. I mean, the octonemia you said, right? Is that? Uh, actually, the, when it yeah. is the, f the family. Yeah. The family. Is that the genus? Because sometimes it has the genus, but I think um, as far we can yes. guess. And then everything's the reversed, the and it's the like. Family, yeah. Cool. Very interesting looking polychaete too. I haven't seen one that was that bright yellow and pink before. And it's quite big as well. Yeah. You see that like uh, uh, the proportion of the the body of the tunicate in, in, in the polychaete was quite a big one. Yes, indeed. Bigger than the ones we've seen, certainly. Oh, I just realized I only, ex <laughs> I only described the tunicate. No, I didn't. So I think there are you saw that there are two of polychaetes, yeah? I saw two of them. Um, I wonder if what else might be in there that we didn't see quite obviously. I mean, it was translucent, but perhaps some things kind of hiding deeper down. Um, curious to learn more about the anatomy, like the, the organs that we saw inside, the one that looked like a white. Yeah, it's definitely it's not that it's fine. I know, I know. It's part of the, no. their that would be anatomy. That would be a yeah. very they're weird they're thing to find complex, in a tunicate. They're complex animals, actually. They, they have uh, the three layers of um, um, tissue that the core data has. Yeah, right. It's a notochord. That they, they lost. They, they pass through metamorphose and they can be hermaphrodite. So that they're quite in interesting. Um, yeah. But yeah, I'm distracted by Dwight looking at this gorgeous uh, 3D too. model. It's, it's very nice. It yeah. looks way taller than when it's just yeah. a flat 2D um, ISO, ISO bath lines. Right. So it looks like from now on, we are going to get a very more. We're sort of over here steep, now. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we can come up to this plateau, mm. or we could just go a little diagonal yeah. and yeah. get there. Resume but the one I got, you move. But yeah, it's steep all the way right to the summit. Yeah. So that's the only real flat part. Oh, program yeah, is. I'm this thinking. It's flighter mouse. Probably you'll be more uh, exposed hard rocks and mm -hmm. not so much gravel as we are have been seeing. So I saw the top barely brushes 2,200 meters, uh, which means that we may not see too many corals until the very top, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's still quite deep if you consider. But you have the opportunity to explore this depth and see which type of community established here it's just amazing you know it's a very unique opportunity and to the geology as well that's amazing. yeah i would say there's a lot of um terrain features it's a lumpy seamount We have yeah, a viewer these that lumps down here. Is cool. asking what the clear squishy thing was. That was a tunicate, we think, but probably not one that we have seen before. Almost snack time downstairs. I was wondering the same thing. <laughs> Chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> um. Cookies. Oh. Don't get my hopes up. We found a lot of cake. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'd like. I think we need some cookies soon. <laughs> we need some cookies. From my mouth Indeed. to chef's ears. How cooks for you guys today? <laughs> oh, cookie is it? You can have two cookies. Oh, I got like three or four. <laughs> <laughs> Don't spoil your dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't eat lunch today. You didn't? Or you no. Didn't? Oh, yeah. I didn't eat anything today yet. Well, lunch is basically breakfast, so. I put a box aside for myself. Oh, nice job. Big thing of lasagna. 
And now I'm regretting not eating it before the shift. <laughs> yeah, <I'm hungry. laughs> Cookies for breakfast. Food. There was lasagna. I yeah, yeah. I saw that. I was, I was like, oh, man, I should have gotten up. I saw a Garfield meme the other day, and I've been wanting lasagna. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I have to say the lasagna is, like, the best, my favorite thing on the on the menu so far. Does Garfield love lasagna? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, man. That's his, his favorite thing. food. He loves lasagna, and he hates Mondays. Yeah. Garfield. That's, like, in every episode. Did you ever see like um, the Dark Garfield comic strip? It was like, <laughs> I don't want to get too into it, but it was like like uh, Garfield is all in a dream. It's basically like Garfield is in the Matrix the whole time, but he wakes up and in reality he's like in an abandoned house, oh. just Aww. really really dark and sad. Ruined, but then it goes back to normal. My life. I know. <laughs> Garfield was my favorite growing up, and now I have a big orange Garfield cat. Oh yeah. Bridge nav. Can we have five zero meters three three zero, please? Thank you. One time I made uh, in the small aluminum bin, like a uh, like small banana cake tin tins or whatever that you can get like at a grocery store. Uh, we made I made lasagnas in there, and then we took them camping. We had froze we had frozen them the, before we left, so all we just did was throw them in the fire, let it steam up. And it was good to go. Lasagna? Yeah. Wow. Oh, nice. Going I camping. I never even thought about that before. Yeah, you get those. Uh, yeah, just get those aluminum baking tins or whatever. Can you just put lasagna. it straight into the fire? The or? deep wood. No, I didn't put it straight into the fire because I didn't know how well the uh, yeah. the aluminum would keep. But uh, we uh, we had a cast iron. I mean, I had a cast iron, so I just put it, like, or a Dutch oven or whatever. Uh, in the camping ground, I had some camp camping grounds or whatever. They might have, like, little grill thing yeah, you can put them on yeah. top. Uh, but for the most part, it was in the fire. And you just kept it covered, so. What a great idea. As it thaws, it steams up. Oh, yeah. Yep. We took tamales last time we went camping, and they turned out pretty good. <laughs> No. Him up. Guys. <laughs> Are you talking to us, James? I can't hear you. Uh, he's talking to me. Oh. <laughs> I'm he's not keeping on it between you two. <laughs> yeah. No, I was just making fun of you. Hot, hot tamales like the Mike and Ike's. <laughs> no. The cinnamon candies. No. <laughs> I'm from Canada, okay? <laughs> no tamales in Canada? No tamales in Canada. <laughs> That's not true, but... Jane, you've been seeing a lot of the specimens as they come up. Will the changes in pressure and temperature oh. affect the tuna kit that we just brought up? Or no, didn't bring it up yet, we collected. Um, I don't think so. Hayusa might be a better person to answer this too, but there was another potential tuna kit the other day that we collected. It was a very strange looking tuna kit. It almost had like tentacle-like features, which made us second guess what it was. Um, we're still second guessing what it was, I think. I think there was maybe a couple good guesses. I'm a little out of date, but that came up just fine. It seemed to still be intact and all the tissue was more or less the same texture. Um, there are some more soft bodies, bodied creatures that will definitely um, react to the temperature change. Yeah, I think how you said was saying sea pens kind of get a little mucusy when we bring them oh, up. Oh, definitely. So it's not a pressure change region. thing, it's more temperature? Um, depends on the specimen, I think. Um, there were a few, I think like jellyfish are so gelatinous that they kind of just dissolve on yeah. the scent, but a tuna kit has, a, I guess, a bit more structure to the, mm. to the tissue. I think sometimes they can be, the mucus can be a, be a defense mechanism as well, so, and, and uh, response to stress. So it can be the stress of collection or the changing the environmental conditions, for instance, temperature or pressure. Um, so yeah, but w what's the main question, pardon? No, you answered it. It was just, do we think that the tunicate will be affected by the changes in pressure and temperature as um, it comes up? Well, I think by the other specimens we got, looks like quite preserved. Um, we could see very well the features. Yeah. Um, we hope for this one as well. Yeah. Be interesting to see at four in the morning or midnight. Oh, for sure. I'll be there. I think it's one of my favorite moments 
in the cruise, you know, is, is the recover of the ROV. It's just like Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's hard to get, it's hard to keep you guys away. <laughs> Sorry. Get the hose. Yeah. <laughs> Back. Oh, bad. Step away bad scientist. from bad scientist. Hercules. It's for your safety. <laughs> and oh, we're coming up on some rocks. Boom! Like. Start of the sea mount. Da 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 da. Ah, this looks pretty cool. Transition here, mm -hmm. huh? Interesting. So seeing here, I believe the other part should be same gravel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's this is change. amazing, actually, how sharp the transition is. Yeah, that was is. crazy. Wow. Really nuts. Is there anything we want here? Rocks or yep. oh yeah. a rock? We usually wait till the top of the hour for a rock. So okay. Can, can I didn't know if we like bought base of the hill no, as a requirement or not. It's a talus slope, so all this stuff is pretty much rolled down the hill. Roger that. So I don't think it matters much. Okay. But as we rise up, we'll look sure. for something that might be different. Whoop, there's something. Oh, Brissenden, right? Mushroom. Brissenden. Actually, it's it has some, uh, it has some things at oh, the distal parts of the tentacles. I'm not sure if we get a zoom. I just went straight for the color. Dead Whoa, dead look sponge. at that sponge over there. I wonder if that's another one of those forays with the complex uh, kind of pillowy. It's kind of complex. Whatever that's called. <laughs> oh, yeah, so go ahead and Lobes, zoom. Lobes, I guess. Oh, oh yeah, that looks more like cool. a mushroom coral. Look at that current. Wow. I keep getting flashback to the Sambula or whatever it is. Very cool. Yeah, that's a neat. I like them. It looks like it's yeah. strong. Uh, like there's quite a bit of current. I yes. Guess. Yeah, there is cross current. And there's a dead uh, sponge behind it. There is. Can we come wide, please? <laughs> uh, one of our shore scientists commented on that she's heard that song before on the Nautilus dives that you were humming. The Jurassic Park. The Jurassic Park theme, <laughs> yeah. On another dive? Uh, several Nautilus oh. dives. Yeah, that's me. It's always you. Yeah, I've been doing that. <laughs> over and over again. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, sorry. There, okay. One time I didn't do it, and Josh is like, where's your song? I'm like, well, we don't want to get strike down on YouTube. <laughs> you know, you got to do it sparingly. But yeah, I was doing that all last year. <laughs> oh, the size of the, the sponge. Um, I think oh, that, that rock is separate from that. I, would, I think that rock landed uh, on the sponge. Uh, Jamie, I think sorry? the Maybe. mushroom coral is on top of this. Huh? Like, cause like, there's some on that side and there's some on the other side. Sure. <laughs> it looks like it just straight up landed. Maybe. <laughs> like, assuming that it's all one, but it's probably not. But it just, you know. Here we go. Uh, Michael, someone in the chat says peach glazed cheesecake for y'all. Uh, huh. What was that? <laughs> Whoa. No, what? Well, he's a pie guy, so no, no, he doesn't no, no, get no, cheesecake. Yeah, yeah. What, what was that? No, no, you you Stop made it. your bed. <laughs> you, yeah, you don't deserve cake. You don't cake. get cake. You get you pie. You say peach glaze? You zoom in there. Peach glazed. Peach glaze. Ooh, interesting. Oh, man. Ooh. On a dead sponge? Oh, yeah. That, that sounds so good. Or no, maybe that's just like its, like own, a, its own... Uh, a two... No, an enemy. Oh. Yeah. But it looks like it's just... Its own house. It is strange. I'm trying to see if it's too... Yeah, it's different. Should we collect it with the I rock underneath it? <laughs> <laughs> that would be very difficult here. Can't yeah, yeah, sit. yeah, it's all good. I mean, we could try, but. I'm just going to have a look. But it looks for me, resim resemble mainly because the base there are kind of Syrian area. Bridge now. Can we have three zero meters, three four zero, and reduce speed Whoa. to point two? Can we come wide, please? Perfect, thank you. Okay. Kind of glad there's no big swells. Atlanta's not have to go crazy. Dwight, do you feel like this is a, no a typical amount of sediment? Where we have a question: Why are they not covered with sediment in this area? Um. Well, this is a pretty steep-sided. Um, seamount so 
it's not like one of the flat top geodes that we've been studying. So I suspect the sediment gets winnowed away and you by zoom the currents. In? Makes sense. Ah, oh, here's a coral. Oh, is that Yay. black coral? And some sort of shell or something on the boulder behind it? Is a black coral? This looks like... Um, If there are patches, maybe? Or heteropatches, as a... Uh, you want to keep going? I don't want to get ahead of you. It's Can we come wide, zone? please? No. Oh, you want to zoom more? We've got, like, a minute less. Okay. So can I can hold <laughs> position here. I could turn out the... You want to stop no, the ship? Don't, don't need to... Well, it's going to swing in towards the, the cliff. Yeah. Yeah. To yeah. I'm, I'm a little nervous about that. I'd rather right. keep going. Just try to get a good capture. Of yeah, it. sorry. Like, you know, if yeah. Jane says yeah, we have a good one, then we yeah, can move on. Yeah, I'll try and get it quick if we can get steady with the cam. I'm trying. Come back to me. A beautiful black coral. I don't know if this is helping. Probably. It's too far away. I don't think those lights are yeah. Yeah. I, I thought we were second. closer. Uh, we okay, well, closer. I was able to get some screen grabs from this distance. If there's, Is that the full zoom or no? Yeah. I know we're kind of wagging, so I don't know if it's... That's, I think that's full zoom. Blurry, yeah. Yeah. I think we need okay. to get You're going. Good. We gotta All right, get going. no problem, no problem. I think we... Perfect. Sorry, there's a lot of cross current here, and I that's just can't sit down. Not so. a problem. No worries, thank you so much. Do my best. Can we hold position, please? Okay, we'll just stop the ship oh. until we get... Sure. Ahead. Um, I'm sorry, I was trying to make sure that we got some good captures while you were describing that. Haisa, would you mind giving a, a quick summary? You said there were simple pinules, and a, you gave a potential ID, I think. I, I can't quite remember what you'd said. I think it's heteropatis. That is steep. Holy heck. There is something here. Ah, now it starts. Oh, yes. Is that a bamboo? We just need to check better to see. I think it's a priminoid. Um, maybe a Ramulogorgia? Can we zoom in? Hmm. Yeah, so. Ramulogorgia, you said? Looks like a Ramulogorgia. Ramulicorgia for me, Militaris, but um, if Steve is there and watching, he can confirm. I think we should probably get going. Yep. That is beautiful. And Quickly take a shot, please. We gotta move. Wouldn't be premonoid, sorry. All right, I have taken as many as I can get. Okay, let's come wide, please. Do, do, do. You say that's in the premonoid family? No, it's not. You're not. I think probably the new revision you'll be Chrysocorgi. Yeah, did. we're in a tough spot. Let's let the ROV get up the slope a little more. And yes, please. They'll we can. They'll get. We, they can get better zooms. So sorry. It, we just we're in a tough situation. You can see in the Atlanta yeah. that the ROV needs to catch up. Otherwise, it'll get dragged. No problem. I can hold. <laughs> 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 Looks like there's some more anyway. We'll probably see them further there's up. There's another one, yeah. Sorry, I can't stop here. Nope, no don't worries, even worry. No worries. We can't stop at every rest stop at this uh, road trip. Getting steep, huh? It is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking like way up. Atalanta's <laughs> off the wall 20 meters, is that right about? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Let's try to keep it that way, I think. Oh We're man, if you hurry up, you might be able to see that sponge that's at ahead. So it's, it's incredible. Big. It's a big one, yeah. To see that change, the right, let's zip up. the terrain, and we already start Where seeing different right community. Yeah, it'll be and coming up in a second. Okay. Oh yeah. A lot of welded, old pillow basalt structures here, and it's a yellow. Oh talus. my goodness! Is what do we have? Yeah. Cool. Is that yellow? Very yellow. yellow. Da, 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 da. <laughs> 
What in the Sam Hill? And the color is so. Yeah, that's wild. It it oh, stands out. Oh, and there's a colony out. to the left as well of something, a coral on the black one, or please. maybe another sponge. Uh, this one stands out. Sure. Zoom is. in a little bit there, Panos. Yes. Yeah, you Quite got large. time. You got time. You're ahead. A little bit. Yeah. It's got the uh, indentation on the non-stock side. I wonder if. Follow. Maybe there's one on the back side as well. It looks oh. fake. It does look fake, doesn't it? That yellow is yeah. an intense color. It is, yeah. Is it a ball of soma? Cinema uh, We're going to have to do a little research. Yeah, I don't know if it's a color fake or... Yeah. I've never seen a sponge with that bright of color. It's almost fluorescent. I mean, not, not a glass sponge anyway. Not this deep. We don't really see very many associates from here, but maybe we zoom. Right. It'd be cool to see the backside maybe. as well. Well, so many. Oh, there's a little dot thing. It's a dot. <laughs> there's a large coral to the left too. Before we have to leave this spot, it would sure. be nice to do a quick zoom on that. Maybe we, the uh, bolus. Come wide, please. I'm not sure. Steve thinks bolosoma. Question if you mark can get though. to the back side of it, we can take a peek and then look at that other coral. But Sounds that, good. That might be challenging. I have drawings in my here, but <laughs> it's not the best. Nice flying. Actually, it looks like the stock comes up underneath. Where is the um, lasers? Are there? Are the lasers oh, there? There's one, yeah. This is it's a large. very oh, big yeah, sponge. So it's really like... Concave. Yeah, and it's probably like a meter or more tall, two meters. Yeah, the wow. with, this, with this tall could be shrimp. about a meter. Down cam. Oh, oh. Ooh, nice run. Oh, I've been on the down cam, but yeah, there too. And the bubble. Oh, you can kind of see where the stock comes up in yeah, the beautiful. center there. Well, let's see. Cool. Take a look All at right, this uh, take coral a to the right. Yeah. Yeah. This one right underneath me, too. Oh, it's another oh, it's sponge. sponge. Another ferriad. There is a. Uh, Looks like look not very held. Yeah, but there is another coral to the uh, right. To yep. the right there. I think it'd be the same as we saw there. They ran. Brittle stars. Brittle stars. Oh yeah, looks and bad. Can, yeah, we, can we come wide for a second? Nav, is the ship stopped? It is, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're just swinging. Uh, I think we're coming towards the end of the swing, though. Yeah. All right, uh, we might look for a rock to grab here, but in the meantime, let's look at the coral, if you could. Sorry, I'm just uh, I'm pivoting, but you can see Natalanda might hit that sponge. Oh, yeah. So I'm just coming up so that I don't do that, and then I'll come back down. Always aware of what's behind you too, James. That's pretty impressive. I've been told I don't have a lot of situational awareness, so I don't <laughs> think I could ever be a good pilot. <laughs> yeah, you definitely need it because. Uh, yeah, there's a couple of coral. Yeah, you can see the corals. It's not also. just bumping into stuff. It's like umbilical and managing the tether and everything. Otherwise, you'd never get stable footage ever. The other watch was calling that yellow highlighter yellow. It says yeah, in the chat. Yeah, it's pretty bright. highlighter, yeah. All right, let's get a little closer. You can zoom in a little bit, Panos. Oh, there's a couple of uh, things on it. I think we have mentioned that a few times, that even though the sponge sometimes looks dead, or it still holds a multitude of 
associates there. So we can see several I think opioids. So this a crinoid as well. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there's a thing in there too. More uh, few crinoids actually. Cool. And that's a dead sponge? Looks dead. Yeah, dead or dying? Yeah, yeah, it looks like it's dying because it's too uh, detachment there. It still looks like it's well attached. But Do you guys know if, if um, the sponges like this have a lifespan or it's like, is an environmental change what kills them or do they die from old age? Hmm. Unfortunately, we, um, we don't know much about. Um, I think sponges also can span hundred years right. for some species. Um, wow, that's crazy. Oh wow, L look the look texture. Um, it looks like it's covered in like... Sediments. Well, yeah, uh, to me like it seems like a... Looks oh, like cardboard. Shrimp. Yeah, it kind of actually kind of oh, reminds me of the little, packaging. The like yeah, the yeah, yeah. The electronics come here. in. Shrimp? They're just chilling. Just chilling. I huh. could see what I think we've stopped. Like I think I've stopped. I think you're still swinging. But we have time. We're I mean, I've been over you for a while now. Yeah. Question right. in the chat, does Hercules have a backup camera? Yes, it does. Got a few cameras that are not being broadcasted. Here. We have uh, two side cameras. Well, uh, actually, three side cameras, technically, but two side cameras that, we could, like, that act kind of like as your... Uh, Left to right good. I was going to try to look for a rock to collect, um, okay. but we should probably try to keep moving just in the interest of time sure. for this and guy. Then, uh, uh, zoom out, please. Oh, so look at the arm. It's waving goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Deuces. Bye-bye. <laughs> so that looks like a giant star colonies, uh, on that rock over there. One in the front and the other one looks Happy like... Happy to take a quick look. Yeah. Uh, Ramulogorgia. Where? Where? Sorry. There is one just here in front, uh. and there is the one aside, but this one looks a little bit different. Um. Zoom in, panels. It's like a blue gray. Yes. Kind of a nice yes. color, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a different color. Really, in the base, if you focus there, we. But that's but. I don't want to hold too much here, as well. I love how, it feels like the Chrysogorges really have these like star-like polyps. Yeah, the they kind of look like little starbursts from far further away. It's, it's quite a big polyp in contrast with the their branch, so give this beautiful. Okay, are we good? Yep, I think we're good. I guess I can't answer that question. <laughs> um, okay. There's another coral over here, and I'm just looking for a loose rock, but I don't see any, so we might skip it. Skip the rock or skip the coral? No, the you can take a quick look at the coral while sure. we're here. We haven't started the ship move yet. Nope. So you've got, you got plenty of time. The way branch is we zoom in there? by far looks like a calitrophora, but I think maybe it's the same as we are seeing there. Mm. Um, Ramulogorgia. Yeah, this uh, Remedy Garger looks okay. like. All right, that's good, thanks. Thank you so All much. All right, zoom out, please. Let's do a ship move, Winnet, please. Okay. Bridge now. That was a cool we little spot. Oh, here's here. some rocks. North, hold please. on, hold on. Here's some rocks. Thank Sorry. You. Actually, the one right under the lasers might not be bad. Okay, let's see. Did you want to cancel the move? Yeah. Bridge now. Cancel that. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> <laughs> you put it in with a scoop and E. 
Yeah. Uh, Mike, just see if anything's loose. See yeah. if anything's loose yeah, here. Yeah, we'll just hold position here. This one Thank might you. be too large, but you can see if it's loose. Are you racked in? I'm racked in. Right. You, it's okay. You, Coming all on. Be fine. Yep. Go ahead. Uh, where are we going? Over well, can we take a zoom on this? It might be a one of the like a whale fossil, like we've been seeing. Is it that or further down? It looks pretty well uh, embedded, but I do yeah, see it does. Ridging. I can touch it. Yeah. It's pretty large. I can use him all the way out, please. Let me know if you can't reach it, and I'll uh, scooch. It's going to be close. All right, zoom in. All right, there. I think you need an extra. Bring it back and I'll scooch. You might have a little bit more, but. Can you reach this rock? No. Can I suggest something? It might be easier. What? Uh, push that big rock to your right. If you gently put the fingers on it and push it out to the right, you'll move the vehicle a little bit to the left and get the scope you need. Don't push too hard. If it doesn't go, don't force it. There you go. You can touch it. Yeah, if you don't think it's loose, it's maybe not worth trying. There you go. Nope. Nope. Welded, huh? Or at Seems least wedged. At least wedged, yeah. Can you re can you reach this one? I don't think so. Okay, no. bring it back. I'll scooch up. Yeah. Wow. Oh, Cemented. I thought it moved. Thought it was moving. Uh, maybe I'm crazy. Very crazy. No. Maybe not. Oh, there might be some other options over here. Boy, I swore these looked loose. 
You see anything in particular? This one. Might be far. They're small, but you could try for them. You want to just scrape and see if anything comes loose. Wow, really welded. Yeah. Nope. Oh, nope. Missed almost. Nope. Okay, good effort. We can rise up, zoom out, or look around some more. Can we zoom in on that long, skinny? The the thing that might be a web ball? Yeah. Watch the, uh, yeah. There yeah, you if you want to scrape at it, too. See if yeah, zoom in there, Bono, and see if... Uh, yeah. Looks like it could be... Ah! Oh, yeah. Let's grab it. It's definitely one of those. You think it's those. a whale bone? I think so. Rostrum of a beak twill, most likely. Definitely is iron manganese encrusted. Zoom out, please. It'd be good to get a spin like yeah, the rocks, too. Uh, oh, did you want? Yeah, that's what I was. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Um, we can put it in with one of the with one of the rocks or with the scoop. Is you don't want to put it in the front enough? bio box? <laughs> <laughs> um, do you think it's small enough to put in one of the smaller starboard bio boxes? Um, A lot of them yes. already have rocks. Or we could put it in one of the larger ones, which don't have anything that is shaped like this, so it's pretty easy to differentiate. I, think, I do yeah. think it'll fit in a smaller one. Okay. Um, do you think it would fit in a smaller one with a rock already in it? Oh. Let's put it in I don't know. A. We could figure out which of those three are smallest, maybe. That's right. Let's put it in A. I was just yeah, trying to leave uh, enough room for bio, but um, we can put, put bio on top. Yeah, let's, let's actually too. go for E. We'll put it in with the scoop yeah. that has the sponge and the nodules. Okay. Thank you. Is that sample 153? Yes. The golden sample. Oh, yeah. 153, 153. Yeah. Oh, uh -huh. Nice. Uh, can you get the uh, town, the down cam for the starboard? No, no, no. Uh, on the starboard cam. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, cameras. Yeah. There you go. Let me know when you're ready for box. Uh, what did you say? E. Yes. All right, give me a second. Yeah. There you go, bud. Drop. No. <laughs> <laughs> Teetering on the handle of the scoop or something. Give it a little surprise. I'll trust you. If that doesn't work, it can also go in. Oh, there there we go. Hold on. Yeah. I got it. Nice job. In? Good job. Cool, thanks. That was probably one of the smoothest ones I've ever done. You've been doing <laughs> great. I'll, I'll awesome. watch. And without Very lunch, impressive. too. All right, I think so I'd like to try to make up a little ground here. We're, we're behind. So... Uh, Get the ship underway. We were ahead two hours. I know. Well, <laughs> tunicate. Spent a lot of time. Tunicate. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> silly tunicate.
speaking of that, there's a question in the chat on why some dives have more time constraints, but it seems like all of our dives are about the same amount of time. It just depends on what happens along the road, right? We get distracted. <laughs> Like cool stuff. Um, it's not a constraint. We just Bridge try to now. stick there, to the plan. Yep. Yep. Perfect. We have so three if we're behind north, schedule please. according to the plan, we try to Thank you. catch up, you know? Yeah. Is that good? Yeah. Because otherwise yes. you have to um, adjust the plan and then that has downstream effects. And um, and those effects being a lot of people on the boat, right? So it's not just yeah, us. Yeah. Well, we can always update everyone, but, um, yeah. we, you know, which we may have to do, but we'll... Uh, Make that call later. Is that the one with the scoop? We yes. also try to avoid yeah, like middle of the night or really late night recoveries. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> launches are easier than recoveries. Thank you. That's so a, I sh that's all I want. We don't mind launching. Eye rolls the night, or sh sometimes head shakes. recoveries in the middle of the night are challenging. Signs of, of success. We have a curious geology geologist asking, are we collecting rock samples to study the chemistry of the basalt in that area? Mm. Yes, yep, yep. absolutely. Yep. We have um, a partnership with University of Nevada, Las Vegas, and Kevin Conrad's a professor there who's an expert in the geochemistry and ages of these rocks and the their geologic history and one of his students Nick is with us and he's cutting the samples with a rock saw and slabbing them up so that he can bring the samples home to his lab for radiocarbon dating I mean uh, radioisotope dating oh shit and um, other geo geochemistry fingerprinting the type of basalt comparing it to other rocks that have been sampled on other seamounts, trying to understand the volcanic tectonic history of the this part of the Pacific plate. So lots of zoom in, lots of good stuff. Look at that sponge. Some small associates. Are those amphipods, those little white critters? Yeah, that's the one I was talking about. You're muted, by the way. Another isopod? A polychaete? I don't know. Could be. It's got orange eyes, glowing orange eyes. Around amphipods as well. Can we come wide, please? There's a couple other things over here. What's this? Coral, sponge. Do I get to keep the, the fossil? Where? Because I got it? Yeah, I think so. Sweet. This <laughs> looks like a colophagus here. It works. Can you zoom in? Yeah. I call dibs. Right? Isn't that what the science chat is all about? Something on its stem. Just a bunch of scientists calling divs. Exactly. <laughs> 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 Could it be a Colifacus? Colifacus. There is associated there. You are a scientist, Michael. Oh, that's true. Dibs. <laughs> and there's um, is that an anemone, one of the... Oh, yeah. Oh, multiple associates. Yeah. There's like a tiny Venus. There's like a, a Venus flytrap anemone and yeah. a one the of those high tu tu tubularian. Tubularian. So the the Venus uh, flytrap anemone, like they don't, the ones we've seen, they look like they had their own kind of like stock, but I guess they're just picking up wherever they can. Like um, they ground themselves wherever they can. It's probably multiple, uh, probably a, a diverse group, I would guess. Not that diverse, but we've seen them several times on dead sponges. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Colifacus. All right, come white, please. <laughs> I 
Dwight, we have a question. Is the same chain within the cha same chain of volcanoes? Can they have different lava com composition? Well, that's a good question. These are some of the questions we're asking ourselves, and uh, is that another getting some answers. Bridge nav. Dead something. Seems in like theory. Three zero meters north, please. If they line in the chain and Thank you. they originate from what the same that? volcanic source, which would be a, a stick? hot spot, okay. then the geochemistry would be very similar. But How about these rocks, Dwight? Would these be good for collection, some of these? These look loose. Us? Not bad. They're very rounded. We can sit here, so this is a good spot. We might Go for it. We just have to be quick about it. Are they loose? Uh, I <laughs> That's a good question. They look like Maybe it. Maybe do a quick uh, shove of one of them and see. They, they, they certainly do look like it. Let me know when I'm good. You're good. No, yeah, you this one. Bring it up. This if you just, one. Uh, shoulder, if you just elbow out, you can bring it out without uh, actually having to see it. Because right. you stowed it in a good spot. Just be gentle. There you go. Anyone or? Yeah, I was looking at that one. That's definitely loose. If that's not loose, then I don't know what is. Oh yeah. She wiggled. Potato farming. <laughs> yeah. We actually do farm potatoes at my house. Oh, come on. There you go. Nice. Okay, let's... Uh, sort of nodule-like. I'm going to bring that close, and I'm going to jump forward so we don't have to stop the ship. Yeah. Once it's over the porch, I will start moving. Good grab. It's, well, not over the porch, but it's okay. You just—it's just a rock. If we drop it, we'll get a different one. Just a rock. <laughs> <laughs> this one's sorry different. if I offended anybody. Very valuable. This, this is just this isn't just a rock. Okay, this one this oh. one tells a story. Oh, it does it. Yep. Just this one. This just this one. This that's, one. That's, that's why it got selected. And now we're a part of that story. <laughs> Our science communication fellow, Steph, and um, she is also a scientific illustrator, has done an amazing job on um, studying lithology, if I said that right, mm -hmm. and creating a beautiful diagram on the website. So yeah, definitely really nice recommend checking that out. No, I haven't seen that yet. Yeah, she's been working it on it on the boat. And it's pretty amazing she was able to create something like that so detailed in such a short amount of time. Any horn blend noted? Mm -hmm. Okay, you ready? I got the um, I think so. terminology right this time. She's exaggerating the crystals a little bit. That's cool. Second. Yeah. <laughs> That's what scientific illustration is all about. Is, yeah. You know, taking some artistic liberty and making them shiny. Emphasizing things that need to get emphasized. Go ahead and go to Salvo whenever you're ready. We need to have a spin on it first, please. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, I thought oh. uh, I th you didn't get not paying attention. You didn't get that in the move? Come on. Uh, well, we saw one it, side of it, it really well. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's wait for the zoom. Hang on. Okay. Okay. Jeez. Jeez. Shoot. Oh. <laughs> Why are you going back and forth? <laughs> kind of shiny. That, that's what models do. We got sound <laughs> All right, effects. That should be good. Too. Thank you. <laughs> Can we uh, zoom out, please? <laughs> do you think this rock went to modeling training? <laughs> it's a hand model. I used to be a hand model. Oh, we're talking about Hercules. Um, we can put it in. Uh, okay. uh, let me get the bubble cam on it. You can put it in E or A. E already has the scoop and the whalebone. A is free, but small. So I know what the collection boxes are all different sizes, but a question in the chat says, how large is the collection box for our samples? 
big enough. <laughs> perfect <Hopefully. laughs> answer. <laughs> hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to see why it's not doing what I want it to do. Up. I'm gonna yeah, with rocks. I'm trying to keep room for around. bio, but um, Play straight now. you can put we bio well, on top can, of this stuff. I just double up the rocks. Well, probably. If they need to. Yeah, I just want to leave at least one for you in case we get something big bio, bio wise. Oh, because really, idea. these are. Oh, okay. oh, I thought you were putting this right. There, there you no, go. I was gonna say. Oh, you're yeah, gonna I was trying to. E again. Yeah. Straighten out a bit. Yeah, it'll fit. I'm Put clear. And E, please. You ready? Are you said what? E, please. E. As an elephant. Oh my goodness! It's the swell. Give me a second. Oh my goodness. Awesome. Very good. Slam dunk. Bring it in. Nice job. It's not sticking out, is it? No, no. Good. That one is full. Michael, is it the swell on the boat that's... that's yeah, because, like, uh, it's a free... Uh, it's, like, kind of... The craft arm is free-willing, so when I... And I'm on a, I'm on a chair that kind of swings with it. I'm, yeah. like... I'm not like uh, James's, which is, like, a lot... It's rigid. It doesn't turn or anything like that. Oh, yeah. Blame the chair. Uh, can you look at the thing? Because I... Uh, it's not doing what I want it to do. Uh, hold on, don't move it. If you don't see the top of the arm, you might be yeah. able to. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I think I'm like doing something dumb. What do your pot say you're doing? Uh, just your elbows all the way up. So bring your elbow down without, um, try not to move the other joints. So hold on, uh, elbow. I'm never gonna be able to get a view on it in that orientation. Okay, if you, the easiest way to get it out of danger is to shoulder down. Put it out in front of you, and then once we get, there you go. Much better. Okay. There you go, bud. And then, here, I'll try to look over. I can't pan to the right, so you'll have to uh, slew left with the arm. Not w with the slew, not with the... No, uh, no I figured out what the, what the issue was. Okay, all right, yeah, you See. got it. Now the the forearm like that is fine because it'll it'll relax and slop after hydraulics. We got to bring it inboard. There you go. Because it was that was outboard of the frame. First point of contact on the right side of the vehicle will be the arm if it's out like that. Okay. I'll turn it off. Yep, that's fine. And then when you when we shut if you shut off hydraulics to the uh, the valve, the whole thing should should. Uh, all right, enough geology relax. and paleontology. You can have some biology. It's time. not. <laughs> yeah, we only we could find some. That's fine. Okay. It's not outside the vehicle. Let's see where it might we be. Are. It might be on the on the pin. Okay. So, uh, whoever opens that next, make sure you've got the jaw lock. Yeah. You know, or fix it right now before you forget. Before one of us forgets. But I have to get moving, so I'm gonna get back. really steep. We have a question about what's the most interesting thing that has been found when cutting open a rock? Another rock. <laughs> I was going to say a smaller <laughs> rock. <laughs> Fossils so maybe? I don't know. Some of the interns and fellows yesterday were participating in the rock process. And well, how about that megalodon tooth? That was yeah, that's what I was asking. In gonna the ask rock? About that. Wait, what? They found a megalodon tooth? Mm -hmm. uh, yesterday? No, no. Uh, last expedition here. Oh. oh. 
and they didn't find it actually until it went back to GSO. No kidding. So was it encased in a rock? It, it was scooped with like one of those nodule scoops that we oh, do. Oh, yeah. cool. I feel like that would be hard to miss. It's quite, a megalodon tooth is like Yeah, it was big. This. Yeah. Maybe a shark tooth. Looks kind of disgruntled, this guy. Well, disfigured. Those, this could be another Ramuligorgia, but um, there is some branch that's growing in a different direction. Can I see the base there? I'd like to see the associates there. I'll put zoom there. You can zoom back in there, Panos. Come on. Nice and slow. There we go. Venus flytrap. Yeah, it looks like uh, we have a thing very small ones, and this is the second one we saw. This looks like there is a little bit of, um, there's a barnacle in this area, and some hydroids. <sighs> Goodness gracious. All right, can you come wide, please? It's oh, perfect, thank you so much. No problem. We have some stalks of um, sponge. Looks like the ferrite, ferrite. And that is uh, commonly in front of us. Can you zoom in there, Panos? They look like all the similar species actually this to me looks also uh, Ramulogorgia if Steve is watching and I don't know if he can confirm that's perfect thanks so much Forget how much this camera zooms. Mike, the lights, please. Thanks, sir. Bridge now. Can we have three zero in? meters three three zero, please? Yeah, yes. Thank you. Huh. Just back to the Samparellas. Is it, it's interesting. Looks like someone cut it. I was gonna <laughs> say, were top. we here? <laughs> yeah, have you been a little here? haircut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the high and tight, the military trim.
But I haven't seen any associates. On I this. think it might look oh, more angular one. because there's something kind of growing on that corner of it. Uh, Is that that yeah. mucusy? Some sort of well, sand or. Yeah, it could be like the mucus that they release and yeah. get a. Pretty firmly attached to that boulder. Yes, it is. Can we zoom out, please? Making contact. Is there something, um, something small on the boulder behind it? But if you can't stop, that's fine. Oh, I got a little bit of time. To the just to the left, like where if the lasers zoom, are. If you uh, to the right of that a little bit. Um, if you zoom in at the sponge, I can try and. Okay, zoom in. Show you where. Like, to the, you see the, now it's pretty much under the left oh, laser. You see that small thing? Under the, under the rock Yeah, there? I'm sorry, I'm not close to the Telecaster, I can't, yeah. That's okay. Oh. Uh, can we zoom out, please? Okay, go ahead. Zoom away. Hmm. Still can't tell what it is. Yeah. Blob. Oh. Something. We can get closer, but the camera's right. quite high up, so the closer we get, the worse angle we're going to see. That's okay. It doesn't look that interesting. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really look like anything. <laughs> Okay, zoom out, Looks quite steep there. Yes, yeah. Whoa. Some flatter sheet flows here. Mm -hmm. How is the current here? Um, it was ripping pretty hard on that slope, um, but now that we've got to the top, so actually it feels better. Yeah. I'm good. Take this up. Small black Small. coral? Yeah, looks like a black coral there. Uh, there's a little bit. It's moving by itself, but. All right, different geology. Sheet flow. So here looks like there is some dominant or predominant species or group. Uh, so far we have seen loads of these uh, Ramulogorgia, which looks like. A zoom on that, panels. Oh, sure. Maybe so this would be quite a large colony as well. Thanks so much. That's perfect.
Do they all have a different branching branching pattern or do they follow kind of a similar that one seems like it branched right off in the center there. Mm -hmm. Depends. Um, there is some species that you're going to have a pattern of branching um, that we can help us to identify the species, but some wouldn't be that easy. Like, and, and loads of uh, corals, you share similar optimized um, morphology because probably of the environment mm -hmm. that they are. So, but some species like this one, the Ramulogorgia, we see the pattern of uh, branching and pinnels, you be zoom in. can help us to identify them. Wow, that's... Ooh. Hmm. Oh, cool. That's yeah, take a look at this. Huge. This is very, yeah. Barnacles too. Wow, that's very a very f fleshy uh, anemone. Yeah, it's in the huge. Wow. There's quite a bit of barnacles. And a few barnacles and hydroid as well. And a black coral behind it. And there is a uh, tubularian as well. Wow. Very cool. Man. All right, can we come wide a little bit, please? Try to Did you also see the black coral to the right of that, behind it? I saw, just let them to um, stabilize, yeah. then we can have a look can on zoom it. in a little bit. It's in the right side. Yeah. We're coming around that way so we can hopefully get a, a view on all of it. I think it wouldn't I, be able I to support the weight of it. It's so big, yeah. it would keel over, but it, maybe it's not that heavy. It's uh, floating. It looks very, <laughs> looks like it looks very fleshy. Bunch and fleshy. Yeah. And at least, at least a sail in the current, you know? I think it would be bending yeah, a little yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, true. It's the strongest. <laughs> <laughs> Is it on more than one <laughs> branch? That's what I was wondering. Like it seems today. a little like brown at the top of it, of the anemone. I wonder if that's maybe part of the stock of the coral kill, behind it's it. killing the coral, maybe. Mm. Uh, come on. It's attached to more than one branch, I think. Looks like yeah. maybe the hydroid that is, was part there and they embraced the hydroid mm. that's just sticking there. So that that's... It's perfect for for this one. Okay, can we, we zoom out, please? You, There's yeah, a coral like to the right, correct? Yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. a black coral. It's stalked. It's rather thin, stalked. Kind of over where that rock shadow is. Right. To the uh, right. I, I see it, yeah. Can we zoom in there, Paus? Tiny little guy. It definitely is a black coral. Let's full zoom there. If you can zoom a little bit more. Uh -huh. yeah, we perfect. have to go closer. Oh, okay. Let's full zoom. No zoom out. And you think this is likely the same one we saw before, the heteropathies? It's possible. Um, Turn on the down lights. Thank you. I am full zoom there. Simple panels, very simple. They're very um, alternated as well. I'm sorry, what was the last term you said? That they have simple pinnels. Uh-huh. 
and uh, looks like they are alt alternated. Alternating. Yeah. We're and stopped, right? Very few. No, I don't think so. Are we stopped? We've been stopped. Oh, for okay. A while. All right. Yeah. That's perfect. Thanks so much. Would you go, please? Yeah. Yep. Probably best for the turnover. So you can look around, I guess. We still have 20 minutes, 15 minutes. <laughs> I didn't say it. I don't know. Just swim around. We have a question in the chat. How deep is it? So we're at 2,548 meters. <laughs> we haven't really gone up much. I guess we've spent no, a long time in the very pretty flat, flat area. Mm -hmm. And we went downhill. Yeah, we went downhill a bit, yeah. How deep is it? Are we past Bay Point 5 now? Yes. yes. Okay. Kind of did a, a little dog leg east and then going back north of it. Okay, we ready to start moving again? Um, because yeah. of that, we found that amazing slow. tunicate. Yeah, I'm just saying, you guys picked zoom in. an excellent track. Did you read Bridge the nav. So. No. Can we have three zero meters, three three zero, please? Thank you. It's not. About. Now that's an anemone. Oh, I like that little anemone. Is it an M M and M and E? An M and M and E. I can't think of anything. An M and M and E. Should we talk about cookies? No. Mm, cookies. <laughs> we don't even know if there's our cookies. Huh? Yeah. Wait. What do we? Uh, oh, who? Who in the um, science portal out, chat, who's actually on the ship still, wants to tell us what there is for a snack? <laughs> <laughs> Paula, you there? <laughs> What kind of food you got? Very important information Steve? in the science <laughs> chat. It's an interesting rock to the right with a hole say, in it. Yeah. Hole in the middle of it. That is interesting. I don't see that much. Dwight, could that have been from it collapsing in on itself or something? Or is it just maybe flowing around something else? Um, yeah, I don't know. Probably a Ooh, Paul is probably a small little fracture that got sort of eroded away or fractured away. Very cool. I don't know. These are looks like a turnover. Anybody turn living <gasps> in there? They got the turnovers. Turnovers Ooh, downstairs. Okay. Uh, Ooh, turnovers. Which Can you are zoom in, please. The other thing I really like besides the cookies. I thought there was something under this rock. It's just a shadow. Oh, there is something there. Oh, yeah. I didn't see that, though. Oh, wow. Good eye. Hmm. That That's is really cool. Urchin or yeah, it's cool. Yeah, cool I can't tell if it's an eh? urchin or an anemone. It doesn't look like an urchin. It's, it's very interesting colors. Oh. It's like green and red. Looks like my my deer and then um, you can derma. It seems like the tentacles are a little bit they're not as flowy as an anemone. They're almost like a little stiffer or bendier. They're not kind of like becoming sinuous, they're kind of staying relatively straight even in the current They're more rigid. You know what I mean? Yeah, hydroid. Hydroid? Cool. You think? That's what Paula said. Can we come wider? Define sinuous. Um, S-shaped. Oh. Or undulating. Thank you. Yeah. I was just thinking the, the species of black coral can be also, that we just saw, can be um, alterna alternate parties. Alternate, uh, alternate, wait, what? Alternative pathies. Alternative pathies, okay. That one's fun to Not say. Not alternative pathies, but alternative pathies. Okay, gotcha. Alternative to nappy pathies. Alternate, alternative pathies with an anemone. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> the chat's saying they think it's a jelly. Similar to a hydroid? <sighs> 
now I'm thinking about jelly turnovers. <laughs> yeah, well, it's waiting for us. Still pretty sparse. But we have more colonies like of uh, corals for sure. Yeah. I think it's been a great watch so far. Yeah. The tunicate was exciting. It was. It was exciting. And we see like the black corals and these are gorgeous. You put it on. We're going to start preparing for a shift watch in the next minute or two. So if we go quiet, then you'll know what we're doing. It's been an awesome watch and okay. really enjoyed the time together. And I'm going to turn oh. it over to Brittany, our science communication follow. Not so bad. All right, back row watch change. Thanks, you guys. Great watch.
Hello, party line. Hello. So all of our viewers online, give us one moment. We're settling in. We just switched watches. This is now the four to eight watch coming on in. Okay, four to eight, here we are. We're here. Uh, science. Nav. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> pardon me, I'm looking for science, Steve. Oh, <laughs> oh that was a burn. Oh. Yes, I'm just junior science over here. <laughs> Uh, well, actually, two, so I have two questions. One was if you wanted to do anything here before we moved, and then two was walking through high back. Uh, no to the first one, and yes to the second mm. one. Uh, and the first question goes to Nick as well. No to the first question. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We'll move a little bit. We took yeah. a rock uh, pretty recently. Because okay. I know what happened last time. Because we're trying to find the steepest possible slope um, to pick rocks from. I mean, there, there's yeah. no rocks to ground here. You're yeah, very no, it's, quiet on it's pretty sunny a little bit, but yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I've been burned before. I was joking about the steep, steep Karen, part. Karen, can you talk to real quick? <laughs> Hello, Data. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Somebody, it's a lot of. <laughs> okay. Aww. Somebody said where their favorite note. watch. Okay. Thanks. It's it's not. Oh, it's a tunica. there's a bath bath. It's, a, it's there. a big floaty tunicate. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> not unless we have to. Yep. Okay. So, uh, hi back. Would we like to discuss high back? Uh, uh, just with Steve. It doesn't need to be a... Okay, cool. Or, okay. Uh, so, Steve, the prior watch was kind of heading uh, towards waypoint 6, but trying to go up this ridge here. Yeah. Is that still the plan? Let, yeah, let's make a waypoint call, waypoint 6A, and uh, we'll just go straight due north. Roger. What's up? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Anything else before we start to move? Uh, negative, but if you have a second, it's, you can zoom on this thing. Uh, sure. Just to snap in and out, and then we'll... I should figure out where we are and where we're going. Yeah. Um, what's the direction of the move? <coughs> the move will be uh, zero. Okay. Yes. Yeah, zero, we're, zero. we're set to put that, to get that move Great. Going. Put another in. Bridge now. Hello. Uh, we're going to do five zero meters uh, due north, zero. 